roadmap session. And this is going to be not so much a presentation, but more something which we will collaborate on. First of all, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues from the board. Maybe everyone who is on the board can just shortly raise their hands or stand up even. So these are the people driving this project, basically. Uh, no, they aren't. They aren't. As you will know, and uh, James certainly is, is the one who can speak to this most, this, this project is driven by committees. So everything that happens in, in Matterhorn is not something that we are concerned with, even though there are committees on the board and there's one representative uh, from the committees on the board explicitly according to our governance, which is uh, quite important to us. Um, so what we try to do on the board is to sort of... Uh, create an environment where committees can work, uh, where adopters feel comfortable, and where things happen, basically. Things like uh, conferences, unconferences. We try to organize uh, people going to conferences and talk about Maton. Uh, we try to uh, sort of think about issues at hand, websites that have to be recreated. And that's really something that, that keeps us busy over the year. And what I would like to do is to start with a, with a short review of the last year. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Um, thank you, colleagues. And then afterwards, we go into a roadmap session that uh, Rüdiger has prepared. And um, there will be uh, a preview of, of what's going to happen over the next couple of months and releases. Basically, um, I think that it's fair to say that 2013 was... A quiet year for us, unagitated is the correct term, uh, hopefully, um, which I consider a good thing for us as an open source project. So we're not that mature yet. Please don't forget that if you judge us. Uh, it's been only a couple of years since we went open source, depending on your definition. It's four or five years. And... Uh, I think it's a good thing to say that we didn't have uh, get major headaches last year with respect to releases, with respect to resources, with respect to money, except that we had too little of each of them. And that's probably something that uh, we're going to change uh, sooner rather than later. But there was, there was no real problem that we had to solve over the last... 12 to 15 years, which uh, is basically a very good thing. Plus, we saw some, some highlights, which I would like to mention. Uh, as I indicated, um, during the last meetings, it was, a, it was a routine, basically, that everyone was hoping for a release, uh, which was then sort of delayed shortly before the uh, actual unconference. And um, I think that if you, if you sort of uh, look at what the, the research planning has been throughout the last couple of months, you will see that the actual changes in the release process um, can, be, can be seen already. And we hope that this will uh, further unfold uh, over the next 12 months, starting maybe with that roadmap session, uh, which we're going to see uh, in a second. So 1.5 is basically uh, almost there. Uh, this is a, a good thing, and uh, if we can plan for 1.6 and 1.7, uh, that's even better. Um, it's not that I uh, couldn't mention any features that have been there um, in, the, in the last um, couple of releases. I think that it's fair to say that uh, developers have been focusing on, on new processes, internally have been reorganizing these processes and, and hopefully um, optimizing these processes, but there have certainly been major additions uh, from, from various sites into, into the code, which we, which we are pretty uh, confident will help institutions to uh, consider matter on a product which meets their requirements even more than that is the case before. As far as the community is concerned, 
I think it's fair to say that the Osnabrück meeting was a, was a highlight. We had uh, almost 100 people joining us there, a large contingent from, from Germany um, and a large contingent from, from Europe overall. Um, I think that um, it was, it was uh, uh, also as far as the, um, the cooperation at that event and the communication at that event was concerned, it was a, a spectacular meeting. Uh, in, in uh, Osnabrück at that time. Also with respect to the community, I would like to add that we had some, some additions to our community in that we have adopters like Switch and like Harvard uh, joining us, which basically makes uh, a difference. I mentioned that it makes a difference uh, for us at ETH in particular that Switch has joined the project. But I think that uh, overall, if you look at the adopters page, that there are more and more schools that identify themselves as committers. And um, I can think that um, Rüdiger, looking at, at his RPMs, basically can tell you that uh, there are um, more institutions at least interested in, in Matterhorn and that he uh, confirms that basically more and more downloads can be counted. I think you've got a process where you have to register for this. And uh, we see that there is a, a steady increase in the number of people who are interested to look at the code. Also, um, I would like to mention that uh, we saw a number of uh, deployments started throughout the last uh, 12 months. Um, Manchester certainly was one of the most impressive ones. Um, some of you will remember Stuart walking into our meeting at Oxford and indicating that they might overhaul their podcast program. Uh, we didn't leave, certainly didn't know at that time what he meant by that. And uh, looking at what he's doing right now, uh, I think it's pretty amazing to see that uh, all, the, all the promises we gave with respect to scalability of Matterhorn actually made, uh, were made true by him and his team, and that was uh, one of the highlights for me, at least, uh, as far as the deployments are concerned. Also, I would like to mention that uh, the University of Cape Town started their Matterhorn deployment successfully, I hope. At least Stephen and his uh, group were allowed to join us again. And if you look at the, if you look at the schedule, I think it's, it's very promising how many proposals uh, you raised. So I think that's a result of the work as well. And the same goes, of course, for, for uh, UCB. I think we had their presentation this morning, so I'm not going to repeat that. But basically, it's good to see that you're in production as well. And even, even ETH, despite not doing lecture capture yet, uh, has, has been using Matterhorn officially. So no more nosy questions about why uh, people who are in this project are not actually uh, eating their own dog food. Um, this is basically <clears throat> an overall look at what we saw uh, over the last 12 months. There's one important issue I would like to mention explicitly because it was a board issue. And I would like this to remain an issue that is the main concern of the board, which is that we uh, started an incubation process with the Apereo Foundation. And um, we had some communication around this uh, in the fall of 2013. And while there wasn't an intense debate on this, I think that the fact that our, our proposal to move forward with this and, and the fact that there was no uh, negative feedback shows that at least the community trusts us as a board that this is a, a decision we have to take. Um, it is from important for us as a board um, to, to um, continue this process. Um, however, it is even more important to us that you understand that this will not impact you as a, as a developer, as a committer, or as, a, as an adopter. Certainly not in a negative way. It will, in most cases, not impact you at all. And where it will impact you, we hope that the, the results will be beneficial to you in that we believe that as a rather small project, as a rather small community, we will benefit from, from working with uh, a larger community. 
And uh, I'm happy to see that Ian is here, Ian Dolphin, from the Aperio Foundation. And in a second, he will give you an overview of uh, what Aperio is, is all about. So basically, uh, we presume that this is something which will happen in 2014. Uh, we haven't seen the papers yet, at least I haven't looked at them yet, but I expect that uh, many of the issues at hand can be solved quite easily. Some of them will take more time, but it's uh, one of the, the key areas uh, where the board feels um, a commitment to, to go uh, forward over the next couple of, of years, uh, months, sorry. Okay, um, you want to chime in with your presentation right now, because then we could go back to the roadmap afterwards, if that's fine with you. Sorry for the ad hoc call. Nope, we still have one. Good. <laughs> 